and welcome to Coding Corner. I'm Goose. I'm Julian. In this segment, we've been looking at some clever game-making techniques in Scratch, and today's lesson is... Light. By using light and darkness, we can add challenges to a game, say, by hiding an object against a dark background. Oh, and clever lighting can make a game super spooky. Ooh. Settle down, Goose. Settle down. Sorry. This program has two sprites, one for the spotlight and one for the background. You can create your own, or use the two we've included in the lesson notes here. Start off by loading a plain black rectangle for the backdrop. Now load up the light sprite. See how it's an isosceles triangle, black at its base, with a gradient changing the colour to yellow by the time it reaches its acute angle. Load the second sprite. This is the background. Note the large transparent area in the middle and the black jagged shapes on the edges, almost like a cave. Now to the scripts. Select the light sprite and select the scripts tab. From events, drag across a wang green flag clicked block. Below that, from motion, add a point in direction blank block and set the drop down to 90 degrees. Now go to control and add a forever loop below that and two if then clauses inside it. For the clause for the first loop, go to sensing and insert a key blank pressed hexagon. Set the drop down to right arrow. From motion, add a turn blank degrees to the right block and set the variable to five. For the second if then clause, do the same, except select left arrow from the drop down and insert a turn five degrees to the left block. Now start off another stack with the one green flag clicked block. From control, put a forever loop below that. Go to looks and insert a go back x layers block. For the variable, enter eight nines, a decimal point and a zero. Now select the background sprite and select the scripts tab. From events, begin a stack with a when green flag clicked block from motion, add a go to x, y block and leave both coordinates as zero. Go to looks and add a show block. From control, add a forever loop below that and from looks, insert a go to front block. So now the program is done. Let's test it. Okay, and I'll just click on the green flag and I'll use the left and right arrows to move and ah, oh, it works. It's like I'm in a spooky cave. Hmm. Let's break down how we made this illusion work. The first stack controls the rotation of the triangle, which is our torch. The second stack makes sure that the torch is always at the back. And the third stack ensures that the cave is always in front. Ah, so that's all it takes to create the illusion. I can think of so many potential ways to use this. Oh, my head is spinning. Well, don't worry, Goose. You can make your own spooky game with this. Okay, okay, settle down. Until next time, guys, remember that all our notes can be found on the website here. So, better get coding. Goose out. Julian out. I'm freaking out now. Thanks, Goose and Julian. The light won't rotate, Darren. Oh, you forgot to add the control stack, Barjo. But there's no time for that now. You two have to go to the Arsborn Point desk. Oh!